On the last episode of Undocumented Human, we set up camp near East Fort Campground in Colorado. We take in the beautiful sights and once again battle the stickies. In this episode of Undocumented Human, we finally visit Friends Fest. in Pierce, Colorado. They live on an off-grid permaculture site. They're currently doing many different projects, including this straw bale cob home. Getting to experience different building structures helps you decide what kind you want to build in your future. So you helped dig these trenches? I did. Back in April, they had, um, it was like an action help day where about 50 to 60 people came out and helped for the day. That's cool. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of digging. What do you think, Mew? You like this garden? I love it. He said they're making like a documentary, but he didn't know about Patreon damaging your batteries yeah so because they only have a small you know right right what do they got going on in there i don't know some <laughs> got dj playing over here it looks like <laughs> so we are headed back to friends fest in uh Pierce, Colorado, and it was so much fun yesterday, so we're taking our house over there, and we're going to stay for the next two days, and we are going to be making a meal for the volunteers, as well as some popcorn, and we're going to have the market out, and maybe sell some coffee, so if you're in the area, check it out. So we are at Friends Fest 2016. This is their third festival. This place is awesome. There's a stage back there playing music with a band on it. There's a teepee. There's our setup. There's a bunch of people chilling on the, watching the full moon rise. Oh man, let me move over just a bit. The full moon just rose. It was so cool. It was really neat. It's so huge. This doesn't do it justice, but anyway, hope you're having a wonderful life. Friends Fest was such a unique experience. If you ever have the opportunity to visit Pierce, Colorado, check it out. I wouldn't miss it. Do you want to go to the drum circle? day of Friends Fest 2016 and we are just packing up. We're going to be heading back to uh, near Hudson, Colorado where we're staying with Jay and Sarah and we're going to be doing some work with them and then Wednesday I'll be speaking at the Liberty on the Rocks event in Denver so this place has been super cool. I just wanted to show you our solar setup. We have two of our panels here. We didn't bring all four panels, and uh, I might as well mention this now. We are trying, or working, we are working to come up with a project that may involve donating our other two solar panels, dang it, Neo, <laughs> to um, 
to a project. So if you have any ideas, send us a message. Huh? It does smell pretty cool. It smells like grass. It has a nice like, clean smell. So this is what the farmers used to feed their dairy cows, huh? Yep. It's pretty cool. It'd be fun to go through a maze of one of these. Hopefully it doesn't fall on you. <laughs> Seriously. Maybe not this tall. It doesn't need to be this tall. I am in Colorado right now. Uh, it's kind of windy, so I'll try to like cover my mic, but um, making some t-shirts for the Liberty on the Rocks event tonight. I'm going to be speaking there about undocumented human, trail of anarchy, seasteading nomads, uh, unintentional communities, and a few other subjects that I've been researching and educating myself on. That's what is up. Neo turned two on Monday, so that was a lot of fun. We celebrated his birthday. I spent some time together, so we'll see you soon. could have came and see the horse. Hi. Are they kind? On the next episode of Undocumented Human, Sarah takes us on a tour of a farm that she works at. She teaches us a little bit about GMO feed versus non-GMO feed. 
I speak at the Halloween open mic event for We Are Change, get interviewed by Bruce, and Neo gets to meet an extra special guest star. That's right, Anarchy Girl. 